So we're going to take a look at G-Hub, which is our new software suite that enables you to get the most out of your Logitech G gaming gear. Um, what's great is that there's tons of customization options. It has uh, all the same features that you'd expect from LGS, but now we've updated the platform with a really powerful backend that allows us to expand that capability dramatically and offer not only a better interface, better experience, but also really future, uh, a platform for great future technologies and capabilities. So let's dive right in. First of all, this is the home screen where you can access your G gear just by simply clicking. You can see all the devices that are connected. Um, and then you can also access our community portal, which allows you to very quickly uh, download profiles and settings from the community based on what other people thought was cool. Um, this is a great way to just really quickly get started with some, some settings for a new game, Farming 19. Who knows? Um, beyond that, you can also um, check out uh, basically new effects or new settings on your device if you want to kind of find out what's new. A lot of times you don't necessarily know what the devices do, and so this is a quick way to kind of get started and see all the cool stuff. Are the gaming profiles community made, community driven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the uh, gaming profiles on the community portal are all user generated content. So um, a lot of times they're actually made by people. Um, like streamers or professional gamers and then of course anybody who has access to G-Hub can create a profile and upload it and share it with the community. Um, you can also create a online account that allows you to um, store all of your settings into the cloud which is really powerful. A lot, you know, esports players, professionals, down to guys that go to LANs or whatever, you can store your stuff online and that means that even if you had to accidentally reinstall everything or whatever, you can get all your settings back. So that's a really great feature as well. You don't have to create an account and you don't have to log in to use G-Hub and that's an important distinction because the other guys do. Um, beyond that, you also can deep dive into the device settings. So this is light sync control, which is awesome because light sync allows you to not only do pretty much any of the effects that you'd expect, but you can also customize dramatically. So you can select, uh, you know, full 256 million colors. You can also adjust what's called animations. And these are great because this allows you to create custom animations on the keyboard and you can really go ham and cheese sandwich with this stuff. It's a very powerful tool. Um, and we've seen some amazing stuff from the community um, through this animation tool. So this is also a little bit of a snapshot into our macro editor. So here's what we call the assignments view. And this is where you can assign uh, commands based on the game. Um, but you can also create brand new macros. Um, let's say we wanted to create this macro and now you can go in here and there's also tool tips when you use these for the first time. You can just record but you can also use what's called our advanced mode and this is where you can change parameters like a long hold, short hold, on press, repeat, release, all sorts of that. You can do a toggle or a sequence macro. You can also create um, all sorts of interactions with our uh, API control. So you can actually create a macro that adjusts settings within applications like Discord, OBS, Overwolf, stuff like that. And that's really powerful for streamers or for people who like to completely optimize their entire setup. Of course, you can also do system commands like changing audio devices or muting the microphone or powering down or pretty much anything you can imagine. You can also launch applications as well. And that goes into the profile settings. So beyond the basic desktop profile, you also have each game has their own profile and each game can have their own settings that automatically apply when that game is launched. So for example, with Battlefield, we uh, go into the commands for Battlefield and all of a sudden all the commands change to Battlefield related commands. And that's really cool because it makes it way easier for gamers to very quickly customize game specific actions and get back into what they want to do, which is play games. So this is a great and powerful tool that really has a lot of complexity and you can delve in, but it's also easy to use. So at the 560, this is our uh, speaker system. This is where you can uh, see some of the audio controls. So you can turn on our DTS X, um, both for headphones and for surround capable speakers like the 560. You can adjust the surround settings here. Um, then you can also change EQ settings so you can really dial in the exact sound that you want. This is a powerful 10 band EQ. So there's lots of capability built in here. Um, beyond that, it's just a sleek and finally we have a window that is scalable. <laughs> Which is a little thing, but it's a really great update uh, from, our, from our previous version. So uh, if you want to check this out, you can download it now. It's in early access and we're about to go live with the 1.0 version. So it's a great time to jump in and check out all the cool stuff that G-Hub has to offer. To find out more, go to logstickg.com slash G-Hub.